What comes to your mind when you hear organic farming? It's a great thing. It's, it's something that uh, all Kenyans should embrace. How often do you consume organic meals? And this club is mandated now to, to go out and to speak to people about healthy eating. And if you do, how has it been beneficial to you health-wise? Specifically about uh, the condition I was having, that is hyperacidity, bloating and what have you. Our exciting tour of an organic farm in Limuru, Kiambu County began at exactly 8.30 a.m. from Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, Nairobi County. This small and coldest town in central Kenya might be the smallest, but apparently it has so much to offer. To begin with, Limuru holds an incredible amount of rich colonial history and this has incredibly contributed to the growth of organic farming in the region. That's why we're here, to explore this precious fact of the region and their active involvement in organic farming. The organic gold, it is. <music> This is Limuru Ak Diocesan Farm, and a lot of farming activities take place here. From cultivation of different crops to rearing of farm animals in natural ways possible. It is a farm owned uh, by the church at the Diocese of Nairobi. The farm started in the year 1902 with the Holy Ghost Father. The farm later on was to be registered with the Diocese of Nairobi in the year 1970s. The farm started its full mandate the year 2002 and it was incorporated the year 2003. In the farm, we do serious organic farming. We don't use synthetic fertilizer and chemical at all at all. We still do greenhouses and we produce a lot in this farm. Well, organic farming is not new here in Kenya, and we all can attest that it began in the ancient times with our forefathers. Variety of crops are grown here, from onions, cabbage, spinach, carrots, and many other crops. The organic farming methods used here aims at cultivating and raising crops using ways that maintain the good health of consumers. This is, of course, achieved through the use of organic waste, such as farm, animal, and crop waste, alongside other biofertilizers. This has brought a gradual shift towards organic consumption because consumers have become increasingly concerned about health impacts of accidentally or unknowingly consuming pesticides and chemical fertilizers. Many believe when it comes to food production, then organic consumption is a far more sustainable alternative compared to conventional foods. Local market, especially hotels, restaurants, and individual households have also not been left behind. The produce from this farm goes straight to hotels and restaurants. Bridges Organic Restaurant remains to be the major local client of Limuru Ak Diocesan Farm. We had to dig deeper why this restaurant has solely ventured into organic meals and not any other regular foods. This is Bridges Organic Restaurant. Kenya's premier organic restaurant that serves healthy organic meals and drinks from certified organically grown produce. We interacted with Bridges Organic Restaurant Management Team and regular clients who shed more light on the importance of having organic meals.
My name is Alpha Kombe, and um, I am usually, I come here or mostly to have a drink, to eat out and all that. I got to know the restaurant out of my, out of my curiosity of eating healthy, uh, trying out new cuisines and all that. And so when I noticed there's an organic restaurant around, I got curious and I got like, let me try it out. And um, fortunately enough, it turned out to be something great. I love the cuisines. I love the, the idea about organic. And um, basically, it's a great thing. It's, it's something that uh, all Kenyans should embrace because uh, it brings out, it, it gives out the, the positivity. It, it's, it's a lifestyle change that uh, we all need in Kenya and all over the world. Organic food uh, is, is important because um, it's food that's grown without any chemicals, without any pesticides, without anything that's harmful, and not just for the plants, but then also for animals, where, where, where actually um, animals are grown rather bred you know, without any antibodies or any uh, hormonal interferences with their food. Yes, so that's why. Interestingly, it's, it's now attracting more younger people. But then our, our initial clients were the older generation, which is understandable because uh, that's where a lot of uh, challenges appear. But then now we're getting a lot more younger people, which means that there's uh, more awareness on healthy eating and the benefits. There's a lot to do, I would say that, uh, because there's a lot of uh, challenges in, in the society in terms of the, the diseases and lifestyle challenges. But then uh, for us, we have an extreme wellness club, and this club is mandated now to, to go out and to speak to people about healthy eating, and they have a, a variety of activities that they do, including uh, cooking classes, they also do organic farm visits, they, um, they do excursions, we normally do an organic festival, at the end of the year, that is pre-COVID. So we have ways that we're trying to reach people and they also give health talks. So to schools, to chamas, to churches. Yeah, so that's our way. And we're also uh, on social media. We have an IG page and we have a Facebook page and a website, which is quite informative. There are a lot of blog, blog articles. I had a lot of issues to do with uh, my lower abdomen, that's something to do with the bloating, hyperacidity all over the place, and uh, lots of issues, as I would say. And uh, you would understand that uh, currently our lifestyle is no better, but then I really had to visit a, a doctor uh, after some diagnosis, some tests, they were really rare. Then I was told I have an issue to do with uh, uh, hyperacidity like a, a disorder and uh, the doctor confirmed that it was more of a lifestyle thing uh, other than uh, the other medical conditions you would really expect so then uh, given that i really work in town and uh, i shared with a colleague at my place of work about uh, my current condition how i would feel and then he was swift to tell me of bridges organics and then uh, i was like oh so in town you can find somewhere where they do organics uh, you know so uh, the colleague brought me to bridges organics um coming to bridges uh, i found a certain lady uh, if you come to bridges you'll always find that their menu is somehow different and then they have a nutritionist in us so i sought to talk to the nutritionist i tried to explain my condition to them and then she really gave me a lot of information about lifestyle and health but um, specifically about uh, the condition i was having that is hyperacidity bloating and what have you she even went ahead to recommend certain foods, organic foods that I could feed on and then uh, I really tried even doing organic cabbage juice and it really helped me since that time until today. I'm really, really well.
first of all, I was not so much into physical activity. So told, I was told that is number one. Number two, there are these vegetables. Uh, if you go to the outside market, you would really get vegetables. You struggle with them. Some of them are very harsh on your digestive system. You really, they really, I, I noticed that probably that could have been the issue. But when I came here, um, I would say, first of all, I like the cabbage they do. They do organic cabbage and uh, some organic vegetables, the so-called kenyajis. They really helped me a lot to heal my gut because you understand if it's an issue to do with hyperacidity, then the gut has some issues. So I was uh, advised to go for the vegetables, most of them, and then uh, they, they do some gravy. There is this gravy they do here, uh, which is organic also. So the issues to do with heartburn and what have you, they left me. Again, they, there, there are some juices, organic uh, vegetable juices I used to do during that period. I was told maybe you can consider taking a, a they call it a detox for five days. So I used to be given juices, like a, a liter of juice for breakfast. These are majorly car juiced vegetables, carrots, celery, yeah, just a mix of um, veggies. I used to take a juice for breakfast, another juice for lunch, and another juice for dinner. And I can tell you it really helped me a lot, very much. First and foremost is that, you know, organic foods, uh, they are naturally grown foods. They have no uh, artificial fertilizers, herbicides. Uh, they have not been uh, sprayed with herbicides or those chemicals. So one number one thing I would say about organic food is that it's the safest food that you can ever have. It's a food that has no chemicals, it has no preservatives, and when you look at the animal uh, meats, it has no hormonal goods which has been injected to them, it has no antibiotics, so it's safe for human consumption. And the other thing is that it's always fresh, fresh in terms of uh, it has not been preserved with preservatives for it to have a, a longer shelf life, so you have fresh produce every day and also it's non-gmo so these are natural uh, foods which are they're not genetically modified foods so you benefit from that as well and also the other thing is that it has higher rates of nutrients in them and so you are sure of uh, consuming a high nutrient dense uh, uh, diet when you consume organic foods I'm gonna take you through the, some of the dry products that we usually have, apart from the foods themselves. And this is our dry product line. We have our organic white rice. This is organically sourced and it's organic. And also we have our organic brown rice, which is organically sourced. The farmers have taken precautions of every practices that is needed to grow them uh, organically. So these ones are organically certified and 100% sure they have been grown without chemicals or any sprays or any artificial fertilizers. Yeah, and then the other product we do have, we have pure honey. This is our Bridges honey, which is 100% uh, organic. It has been um, sourced from our organic source. This is the best honey you can get for you, for your family and for your children. And as well, we have our organic tea. This is the herbal tea, the hibiscus tea that we normally use here. And also we sell it to our clients. It's a very high rich in antioxidant, especially if you're managing a uh, hypertension. It's very highly recommended for that and goes hard in that with the pure honey. And on the other hand, we have our peanut butter. 
I want to give people another option or alternative because they're used to bluebirds, they're used to jams. So the other alternative of the best uh, sprint you can have, it's the pure peanut butter. And this one is the pure peanut butter with the cashew nuts in them. More of zinc, more of manganese, more of magnesium in this. It's very, uh, very uh, nice for, for kids if you want to uh, remove them from eating a lot of jams and rhubarb. And we have also our pure peanut butter. This is the plain peanut butter. And uh, the other type that we do have is the peanut butter and cashew nuts with some flax seeds and simsim. This is actually very dense with all these uh, nuts in them. Very uh, dense with uh, zinc. It's very nice for men and the whole family, actually. And the other product we are having is the spirulina capsules and also the moringa capsules. These are very, uh, very nice for you to have. It has high in antioxidant, it helps regulate your blood sugar, it helps in, uh, uh, in clarify and uh, purifying your blood. And this is stevia. Stevia is also another alternative for, for sugar. So we have alternative for sugar in this uh, Bridges restaurant. We have uh, Bridges honey and also you can have stevia as well. It helps to sweeten your, your tea. Uh, it can be used in your baking products. And uh, these amazing vegetables here, yeah, these are our fermented vegetables. These ones, uh, they are very nice. We ferment them and then we sell them to clients. If you want, you can make an order for them. They're very nice in uh, maintaining your microflora and your gut uh, nutrient because we all know your nutrient, uh, your, your health starts from your gut and you have to have a uh, good bacteria so this is one way of maintaining the optimal microflora in your in your gut. Uh -huh. This other side, this is the pure peanut butter with cashew nuts, like I've mentioned before. And these are called chia seeds. Chia seeds, they're very nutritional dense. If you're looking towards losing weight, they're very high in fiber and they make you feel fuller for a longer time. They're also alternatives for... Uh, omega-3 fatty acids they are also have that it's very high in proteins as well so this is the bridges chia seeds and here we have our organic nuts and fruits uh, this is uh, ground nuts uh, mixed with some uh, fruits the sultanas in them uh, these are the snacks that you can give out for the family to our kids and also you can enjoy them when you're in your office. As well, you know, you need some zinc, manganese, and other mi micronutrients. This is the best option you can go for when you choose a snacking part of it. And this is the rosemary. This is a Bridges rosemary. It's an herb that we do produce here. And uh, together with the cinnamon, with the cinnamon powder is also another herb that we do have and this is the flax seeds powder all these herbs they are very good herbs because they are dense with antioxidant when you look at boosting your immunity these are the herbs the dry herbs you can choose from there are a variety of herbs that we do have here we can have the fresh herbs that we do use in our in our cooking and also these dry herbs also you can use them in your household so this is the bridges market of dry products you can get all this products from our two outlets. This is uh, Bridges Organic Restaurant, Taubman Road of Koinanga Street, and also Bridges Organic Restaurant, Kaunda Street, Jubilee Exchange Building. And also you can buy them online from our website, which is www.bridgesorganics.com slash market. You can visit that website. You'll see our site of all our dry programs, our services, our nutritional services, because we always here are situ uh, situated in the restaurant to give you uh, professional uh, nutritional advices when you want to hear from us. And also we can do diet plans for you depending with what you want to achieve.
really say organic is life, organic is health, organic is happiness. Choose organic today, live long, and save our future generation.